all right welcome back shout out to all four of you watching me live i appreciate you deal love shout out to you i appreciate you always all seven of you again right now do me a favor hit that like share subscribe turn on all your notifications so we can ping everyone else into the room so they can be part of this conversation all right so there's a story of this guy steven jackson steven jackson have you guys okay so another ex nba guy there's something about this nba guys and marriage they love marriage but they can't figure it out it's a struggle you know um yeah there's some kind of struggle with uh yeah they don't you know i guess probably for obvious reasons too right let me see if i can put this picture to the screen so you guys can see what i am talking about all right this guy right here yep that guy right there steven jackson okay but there's a story here on instagram i'm just gonna read okay uh the wife the person you're looking at on the screen with him uh has some things to say on instagram something with regards to prenup okay Chie, Alpha. welcome how are you my sister welcome welcome roro hello welcome all right so there's something that was posted by the wife i'm not sure if it's the wife actually, let's just get through it together uh, i'm actually going to just read um it's a long thing but maybe we'll get some lessons out of it okay let me just even share this right this let me share it like this okay so i'm just gonna read um okay there was a, a somebody posted something and she took a screenshot and on the right hand side her name is tammy she's basically debunking what the story uh what they said something with regards to the prenup you know and there's a lesson that i'm already feeling from it that i'm like eh you know uh let's see this is this is them right here so i think that my they, i think they're still married but you know it's a lot of men fantasizing about how bringing up is going to protect them you know i always try to tell them even women too yeah women too uh women um men or women it doesn't matter okay bringing up will protect your money it doesn't protect you okay um if you don't understand that ouch do you guys get it no when i say that prenup will protect your money it does not protect you do you get it you get it okay. if you don't get it forget about All it right. do you get it okay it protects your money it doesn't protect you okay and it with the money parts only to a certain extent you know um uh, but let's see what uh, they're talking about. There's this long thing here. Okay, interesting right or wrong. And I quote, interesting right or wrong. Retired NBA star Steven Jackson walked away from his marriage to his fiance. Okay, so this is a fiance, Imani Showalter. After she refused to sign a prenuptial agreement. So the other person, the wife, no, no, no. He walked away, walked away from his marriage. He walked away from a wife because the person refused to sign a prenup. And got with this fiance, which is Imani Showalter. Everything is alleged here, okay? But there's a chance it's all true, right? No, no, no smoke with that fire. <laughs> anyway, um, after she refused to sign a prenuptial agreement, a prenuptial agreement is a legal document that two people sign before getting married, mostly for the rich to protect their wealth. See, like I just said, it protects your money, doesn't protect you. Okay, indirectly kind of protect you, but not really because most of you get into these situationships emotionally. Okay, you make that decision emotionally, it might justify the BS with logic later, but it was actually an emotional decision. Okay, that's why it's a move of faith. Okay, where is a move of faith? Yeah, precisely precisely what it is right so the only thing you can do is position yourself to win you can't just tell myself i'm just going to win because i'm intentional no you need to position yourself to win okay because as far as you are concerned as a human being you're just like the rest of us it is what it is okay so it's mostly rich mostly the rich protect their wealth he's worth over 20 million dollars in cash with businesses properties and exotic cars and once his hard-earned money wealth protected before getting married. Many stars have lost their hard-earned wealth to the woman that they married through divorce. Mm -hmm. Its purpose is to specify the division of assets and debts 
in the event of a divorce or separation. It can also address other issues such as spousal support and the rights of each partner during the marriage. Mm. The basketball player revealed that the two had previously agreed that they would have uh, a prenup. However, when they received the document, she mischievously delayed signing it. Mm -hmm. A month passed. Two mo ladies, if you like a guy and he presents a prenup, uh, don't delay signing it. Uh, hand it over to your own independent representation to represent your interest. Have You can still like this person. Have a good ne negotiation. Enjoy it. Have them put it together. It protects you as well. No, not you, like I said. It protects your money, <laughs> right? If you don't have any money, it kind of protects you, but financially only, okay? It really doesn't protect you from everything else, especially the biggest variable of them, which is your emotions, okay? Um, a month passed, two months before the wedding. I'm like, we need to get the prenup signed. So when we get down there to Houston, we ain't got we ain't, we ain't got to worry about it. I told her like, I, I told her like, I told her that like two, I told her that like two or three times. Jackson also said that she had another issue. She was adamant about a particular pastor to officiate the ceremony. Hmm. Yeah, if your if your if your man has to argue about who's gonna officiate your wedding ceremony. Yeah, the, those issues are deeper than that. Okay? That means you're getting married to a person who really necessarily doesn't really subscribe to whoever you subscribe to from a faith standpoint. Ouch. That's a bad idea. Okay? The pastor tried to manipulate him by telling him. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back a little bit. Uh, to officially, okay, he explained later that when he told the clergy that he would not marry her, if she didn't sign the agreement, the pastor tried to manipulate him by telling him, let God handle it. What? <laughs> okay. Let God handle what? Jackson said that the pastor made it clear that he didn't believe in prenuptial agreement. Yeah, that's even worse. That's clearly a pastor who is not well educated. Anyway, oh, that doesn't mean they didn't go to school, by the way. Okay. Um, God is telling me to put the pen in her hand. And make us sign this goddamn prenup. I take care of many people, and God is telling me to put the okay. I take care of many people and never gonna let one woman control all the hard work I've done in my life. <sighs> yeah, this doesn't look good. The issues are deeper than this. The issues are not even the prenup. It's never really the prenup, okay? Yeah. Sometimes it's the prenup, but people would argue. And we're still signing it, even prematurely, even without representation or proper negotiation. They will sign it anyway if they really like a person enough. But when they don't like a person enough, when they're not really friends, right? When they have deeper issues, they're looking for, they're subconsciously looking for reasons to call off the wedding, right? Rightfully so. Anyway, none of this Marfox was in the gym with me. So I told myself, no, no, he didn't want this girl. You didn't want her, right? Like, imagine you like a person, you're about to do life with them, and you're talking about them in this way. No, something is off. It doesn't make any sense, okay? Yes, including money, it's not a good reason to talk about them like that. In fact, people, your friends would need to actually, usually your friends would need to tell you, like, no, you need to get that thing signed. And you'd be like, ah, I think I'm okay. I think I trust that. That's the kind of vibe you're operating with. Even your friends are like, no, 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 no. You got to protect yourself, right? And you're like, you're right. I got to protect myself. Babe, we got to protect ourselves, you know? Let's just uh, call your representation. I get my representation and we get this thing signed. And then we go on to really have a bliss in life, right? It's just like insurance. It's just like insurance. No big deal. Just to protect, just in case, you know? Just in case I run mad and I start to take advantage of you get your own representation to make sure that uh, everything is represented well but what is he talking about he's talking about yeah nobody's gonna take my money i work too hard i'm gonna take care of all those people he forgot that's gonna have to take care of the wife he's getting married to her at the same time did he forget or he really just doesn't like her that's the question right anyway um 
So I told myself, whoever I'm married to, she is signing a prenup from top. It's not even a second guess. All right. So now let's get into the real story. So Tammy is the new fiance. Okay. Apparently, well, she's not married yet. Maybe they didn't get there yet. But this news came up in Black Enterprise. And I was like, you know what? Hmm, let's talk about it, right? Chia said, if you have this type of deep issue, you shouldn't marry one another. Thank you. That's all I'm saying. Like, why are you talking about marriage with this person if this is the vibe you're moving with? Like, yeah. you know, um, people that are that don't have any affairs or not, they don't have any fiance, they talk like this on the internet and I don't judge them. They don't have anybody. To, they're not in love with anybody. So I'm like, okay. Let's wait until you're in love with a person. I will never be in love. I'm a stoic, masculine man. Like, yeah, exactly. You will say that because you're not in love with the person, <laughs> right? It makes sense, right? Anyway, so superstar Tommy comes back and say, to clear this old news up that keeps magically resurfacing, this is not about me. Right story, wrong woman, okay? It was an ex fiance of my husband's from like 20 years ago. Okay, so this is a long time ago. How old is, uh, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be curious. Let me see. How old is Steven Jackson now? Because he's a veteran. He's 43 years old. Okay, so he's 43. No, 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 that's not him actually. That's the, that's the, that's the wife. Apparently. Uh, let me see. Steven Jackson. Is 45 years old, born in 1978. Uh, yeah, that that sounds like somebody who used who played basketball once upon a time. Uh, it's I think it's done. Let's see, I'm trying to see if he's still playing. Okay, he was done. His playing career was 1997 to 2014. That makes sense. Okay, so this was a long time ago. Okay, all right. So now let me read what she said. Let me continue what she said. Um, let's see. All right, so again, just in case you missed this, let me do this real quickly. If you, if you missed this, there is a free class, okay, that will, uh, will be running very soon. So you want to make sure that uh, you register for this. Hit the like, share, and subscribe, by the way. Okay, you can register for this by simply joining the group. The group is at digitalmarketingcertified.com. If, if you want to break into tech or you're looking to pivot, you're looking for something that has a little bit more freedom, you can work from home. And you also want the chance to be able to work for yourself. You know, you want to be a content creator, social media, search engine optimization, those kind of things. If you're looking for that, especially in this artificial intelligence world, this is one of the easiest things to break into. Six figure, seven figure, 1099, six figure W2 easily. So uh, you can join at digitalmarketingcertified.com and also that will come with a free book. Okay. All right, so just wanted to drop that really quickly. All right, so let's continue uh, back to the story. So to clear this old news up that keeps magically resurfacing, this is not about me. Right story, wrong woman. So 20 years ago, she said. Yes, from like 20 years ago, and that's not an exaggeration. Anyway, so it makes sense that a much younger man at the age of 25 will run his mouth like that. Don't get it twisted. There are older men, 45, 46, 47, 59 and a half that talks like that okay just want to warn you ahead of time just in case you encounter them okay all right anyway steven and i have been together for eight years since 2015 and married for almost two years now since 12 december 5th of 2021 there was never a prenup mentioned to me there you go not before our wedding during our wedding or any other time in our whole relationship for that matter there is somebody right now saying that is stupid well i understand financially you can call it stupid right it's like not having insurance if you have a lot of money it's like not having insurance but like i said it only protects you financially that's all okay so people claim we a lot of men try to claim that men are hurt more because of the financial hit that they get from divorce it's a lie okay they are hurt more because they are hurt emotionally break fast heartbreak okay that's why that's the most reason why they're hurt not the money anybody who made money before can make money again well except exception of basketball players but 
in terms of being a business owner yes if they made money before they can make one again is that a, is that a reason to not give your money away well the question is are you giving it away is that actually giving it away right so how are you defining giving it away because again negotiation skills before pre or post up or in between nups is negotiation skills you have to negotiate sometimes right but if you're leading with your emotions of course you'll be terrible at negotiation just in general so maybe the document will make it easier for you but the reality is that some of those documents get thrown out in court as well if it's not fair enough <laughs> or if it was signed under duress or if it was deemed to be signed under duress the only way you can protect yourself is emotional intelligence i'm warning you right now is emotional intelligence everybody cares about something including yourself and if you continue to disconnect from that idea yeah you will end up in the bottle bottle always like the rest of them it's no it's no doubt in my mind even after ironclad ironclad constructed disruptive prenuptial agreement <laughs> back to back to square one let's get back to it anyway so she said there was never a prenup mentioned to me not before wedding during our wedding and our whole relationship for that matter some people will consider that stupid i can't say that that's stupid yet i don't know what i don't know i don't know anything about their relationship so i can't say that's stupid i think it's stupid to speak about people's relationship that you don't know anything about i think that one is stupid but let's continue um prenup he required uh, i'm not sure what kind of contract contract prenup he required in previous relationships but the word prenup was never brung ugh, see english brung to me not one time okay i think brought to me it still sounds a little bit more english but anyway let's continue would i have signed one yes but steven knows what we have is real love he knows i'm nothing like the rest therefore he knew a prenup wasn't necessary with me. See, when a man knows, he just knows. Well, some people might argue about it. Well, those people thought they knew too. No, those people end up in a quarter quarter. Those people end up in unnecessary toxic arguments. Oh, it's necessary, I guess, you know, with a person they once loved, right? Meaning they lost all their cool, calm, collected CCC masculinity frame so they can't negotiate. In and out of prenuptial agreement it didn't matter even when their lawyer tried to protect them coconut they didn't listen they didn't listen they were all consumed by their emotions so when she gets consumed by the emotions as well that you bring to the table she helps you multiply it and then the judge will look like him the judge will like uh i gotta protect the woman and the child yeah oh yeah but i didn't go to the gym with her the judge like uh good for you you didn't go to the gym with her you should have taken her to the gym with you right mm -hmm. so this is what we're talking about today we're talking about steven jackson all right so but she continues she continues um i made it to through i made it to through and passed the altar with him strictly on uh, strictly on love so i could care less about anything from his past it's 2023 and y'all talking about something from 20 years ago no this is fresh for those that are talking about it this is very very fresh for them don't get it twisted okay if they are talking about dna paternity for right now it's fresh for them don't get it twisted okay the only thing you can try to do is disconnect from yourself from it and say ah that's personal issues what may i help you oh personal issues you keep it moving the other direction right there you go so for those people wasting their time commenting on such old news steven and i are happily married with no prenup no child support obligations no strings attached nothing just pure genuine love so y'all can keep entertaining and living in the past if y'all want but as for Stephen and I, that story is old and irrelevant. We're busy writing and creating stories and memories of our love story. Love always, Miss Tamara Jackson. I just wouldn't be the one writing this if I were her. I would, if it was necessary at all, he should be the one writing it. 
but that was that story right there i just wanted to share that with you also to bring the lessons sure please by all means if you feel the need to do a prenup do it just you know educate yourself about it make sure you have proper representation okay uh it protects both of you financially okay from a financial standpoint but uh it will never replace the work that you need to do on yourself emotionally so you can protect yourself emotionally because breakfast is not your mate if you collect breakfast or you dish it you will collect okay either one it doesn't matter of course of course initially in the in the in the in the, like in the interim like short term the person who collected breakfast is the one who is feeling the collection but everybody collects including the children all right so let's um let's move on to the next story i think that was a good one right there